Series come up on Friday. Men's opening round games on Friday late afternoon and evening. First shot of the game goes down for the mocks. Paladins play defense. Dina Gerald from the corner, a streaky shooter. She can go for... And the Paladins have some nice balance scoring. They have three players in double figures scoring. So when they start getting on a roll, they have so many options. Porter kicks into the corner. Sigrun Olafsdottir missing. Cornelius battling and able to beat the shot clock. They had a second left as Abby Cornelius. She is one of the players that's just under, just shy of double figures in scoring. Just into the game and feeling the stroke. Murphy. College high school athletics tradition never graduates. And this is the gold standard as Chattanooga over the years for women's basketball and the SOCOM. For those openings, the Furman's a team that really probably is playing a bit tight right now. Seen people burying three-point shots with barely a tick left. Backside rebound, Olaf Sauter. Porter, shot clock at five. Working inside on Hodges, went right by her. And all that recruiting was done via Zoom or videotapes or uh, phone calls. Olaf's daughter. Back to back field goals. For Gerald's back out high. Oh, and a nice look inside, and Cornelius with the finish. That's good recognition that Van Rye really wasn't into the play defensively. Hesitation for the native of Iceland. Off the glass. 8-0 run to build the lead. They just don't have as many weapons on the floor at any one time as Furman does. Cornelius, great extra effort, gets it the second time. Coach, dominant start by your team. What led to such a spirited start to this game? Well, we have struggled all year long, and we have been without a full roster for many weeks now, and I knew that my girls were going to come out here ready to go um, and, and just be able to show everybody what we've been missing these last few weeks. Um, we cooled off a little bit, but our defense kept us in it um, from the start, and so I was pleased to see that. We're still getting good looks. We just have to knock them down, but, boy, the, the energy that we have, I hope we keep that up in the second half. How do you? you keep it up? It comes from within. I mean, Aaron, come on. You know it has to be somebody. Like they, they, they got to do it themselves. And I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to try to get them out here as quickly as I can. I don't want them to sit around too long. Definitely. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Win for the sixth time in nine games this year when leading at the half. Bullet pass inside. Olaf Stauder to Cornelius. No shot clock to look at above the basket. Those both have been turned off for a technical issue. There is one at the top of the arena. Abby Cornelius. Another bucket here early in the second. Built another double figure advantage. Shot clock coming up on five. Olaf's daughter missing. Cornelius right there. Gerald's in the lane. Good find of Hampel who gets the bounce. Cornelius looking to step around the defender and she's able to go to the hole. I'm impressed with Addie Grace Porter. She's going to be a, a good addition to this Chattanooga team. And she just plays with so much grit. Finishes off the steal by Olaf's daughter. And that's a, an area of mismatch that favors Walters in that the 5-4 Addie Porter is set, assigned to defender. And even if she gets up tight, Walters can certainly shoot over. Cornelius on the other end, a chance at a three-point. Cornelius usually scores close to the basket, tries to do just that and succeeds. Nice kicking it right out. Pew. Little step through, and the foul will be called on Grayson Boone. And she doesn't want to disrupt the flow as much. You use those timeouts as you get later in the game, and you need them. Abby Cornelius, her team down by two. All 22 of their losses this year when they trailed with under five minutes to go, but now they're tied with a chance to retake the lead. That's Pew with the ball. Hempel from the outside. Huge! And Chattanooga's Katie Burroughs calls the timeout. Freshman back to Hampel. Lob by Ola's daughter. Underneath, Cornelius able to shed James, the defender. It's a nice play and good. Just make it difficult for them to get that shot. Walters. Turnaround. Tie game. This time it's 60. 
Katie Burroughs calls the timeout. Her team will get it back with 14.7 to go. Here for the 21-22 season, inbounds to Walters. Defended by Olive Sauter. Coming up on two seconds, the feed deflected away, and we're going overtime. Olive Sauter, nice pass by Cornelius. Counted, and she'll go to the line. Eight-point game. New career high for Walters with 26. Porter, what a great effort just to get the ball toward the hoop. She'll go to the line. So career's high in the ball game for... In this game and really was battered and beaten by this Furman team in her small stature. And Walters dribbling out the final seconds of a 45-minute...